Hello, board gamers and bandoliers. My name is TV Sky, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate into Mission, the DLC Yuffie episode. I've been off camera uh, grinding a bit, both uh, doing some battles here and there just to acquire the abilities that I have on the weapons that are on right now, because I don't want to have to do that while I'm recording. And I have grinded a whole crap ton of Ford Condor and acquired, uh, I think, the best board and unit combination that's available right now. And so we're going to give another shot to taking down Wade. Uh, Wedge, rather. And then see if we can beat the Grandmaster. Probably not, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. I've got the Assassin Board 3, which should give... Like, it doesn't have any material or spells on it, which is a disadvantage, but... It does fill up that ATB gauge real nice and quick. So... Here's hoping that this will work out. So he only has one flying unit, which is good. Uh, I might want to get something a little bit more powerful on the defensive, though, given that he's got the cutter. Yeah, let's do that. I've got an okay mix, I think. Uh, also, might want to actually up the power of my range unit a little bit, just because he's got he's got some damn powerful defense things down there, and just having the sweeper might not be enough to deal with them. Uh. got only one flying unit that's the helicopter so that'll be taken down by well the sweeper can't actually get to it so actually I do need to put another something range that can hit airborne units of which I don't have that much actually basically the slug ray and the sentry ray okay, we'll do that gives us three of those Two powerful defensive options to deal with his offensive. Is that enough to deal with his... Okay, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Let's give it a shot. Basically, just spend a whole bunch of time bullying Johnny, just beating him over and over again for get two Condor Corns each time, and then sort of start from there. Okay. I mean, I can just basically get some shit on the ground immediately. I'll try and see if I can't put pressure on him. I don't think that thing can actually attack airborne units. But I want to get rid of it nonetheless. Okay, good. Okay, I have the offensive advantage for the moment, but he's about to put a sweeper on the field, I'm pretty sure. Or he's gonna put down the helicopter. Okay, great. I need... Oh, I don't have access to any ranged units right now. Oh, shit. Okay. At least it doesn't have any advantages against my, my poor mothball over here, but that doesn't really matter. Okay, uh, so the smart thing to do might be to... Well, just try and take down that thing. Like, just try and keep the pressure on that condor outpost there. There. Because, like, that puts me in the lead, right? That helicopter is fucking powerful. It is the most powerful defensive unit, short of, like, well, the mothball is technically a little powerful also, but. 
Okay, let's get the sweeper down to take care of that. Which it should do without too much trouble. And we'll just keep getting out hella things to deal with that damn helicopter. Oh yeah, I'm in trouble now. He's got all the offensive. At least the helicopter is gone. That thing was a troublesome little bastard. Over here we need... the mothball. Or the riot trooper, I think. Let's go with the riot trooper, because we can get that out now. Not much point putting either of those out. Just wait until we can get the cutter and the swooper down. Moth unit. Okay, if I can just hold this, I should win. And since that thing keeps taking damage, the more it's on the field, let's just cement our lead by trying to take down his other outpost. We should have this. Ha <laughs> ha! Victory! And it only took like an hour of grinding. <laughs> I don't know if it was an hour. I didn't think you had a chance. Sure showed me. You freaking bet I did. Aw, not gonna go cry into your cats, are ya? Jesus, Yuffie! Cut out for you, my furry friends. Hey, we should make our own. All the okay. Rank four players, huh? Can't help but notice there aren't any. Except, of course, one. Wait a second. That was everyone, right? Including the Grandmaster? So where's my materia? I want it now! Uh... Yes, this is here. Uh. What, can I just not? Oh no, wait, wait. It's Chadley? Oh, come on! Fine. <laughs> He's the kind of nerd for it, though. your Fort Condor match records. You exhibit what in sporting parlance is called the ability to perform in the clutch and the heart of a champion. In combination, these traits make you the ideal player. That being the case, if it isn't too much trouble, would you mind testing your medal against me? Uh, I guess so. I'm sure you'll kick butt. <laughs> okay. So he's the final boss, basically. Grandmaster board. Only up to 5 ATB, but very high speed, and he... Okay, so he relies a lot on putting down barracks. Okay. Presumably he'll have very powerful spells, though. Okay, let's see. So he has... Riot Barracks, Slug Ray Facility, Officer Barracks, and then Helitrooper and Blast Ray to sort of run the defensive. It's not a lot of diversity, but presumably he's going to be able to put those facilities down quick. Okay. Hmm. 
I mean, okay, let's let's try it. Let's see let's see what he does. How scary he is. I'm gonna let him put down his first facility thing. Or what's he doing? Okay, cool. Moth unit. That'll counter his first play. And then sweeper to counter his defense unit. And we should be okay for the first few seconds of the match. Okay, so now he's putting down his facilities. And he's keeping them well out of my reach. Which is sensible. means I'm going to have to put some work into trying to get to him. Now I only have attack units, though, and I need the sweeper over there. I can't have the sweeper over there. So let's just put two powerful units down and see if maybe they can pressure onto the... Trouble is, neither of those things can attack airborne units. That's a problem. Uh, Hello, trooper. Could you help them out? I'm pleased with the pressure that these guys have been keeping on over here, though. That's all right. He hasn't used any of his spells yet, though, which means he pretty much has the spell option to just take out these guys. I need to start doing something about these things now. And I don't have a lot. <laughs> okay, that should be enough to deal with them. Yeah, the factories. His factory strategy is definitely a problem. I think it's going to be like a... I mean, I have the I have the lead right now, right? So I can just play defensive from here. And just focus on countering whatever he puts out in terms of... Get the mothball in there as well. And just try and hold. Yeah, that should do the trick. Okay, I have weathered the storm. He still has spells left, though. Which, I would have expected him to use more of them to just kind of take out whatever I put down on the field and support his push, but I'm not complaining. The AI is bad. Perfectly happy with that. Whew. La la la! Ooh, 10,000 gil. AP up materia. Nice. And no rematch option. That was quite the performance, Yuffie. Thanks to you, my hypothesis has been substantiated. Your hypothesis what now? Substantiated. I was testing security measures against Wutaian espionage operations. By offering a reward, I surmised I could accelerate the rate of adoption, which would, in turn... Yeah, yeah, skip to the end. Uh, my apologies. What I meant to say was this. The money and the materia are yours. Do with them as you please. Did you say materia? So, you're the Grandmaster. Who'd have thunk? Ha ha ha! How does it feel, Shinra, to see the whole of Midgar brought to its knees by the amazing Yuffie? <laughs> Your capacity to remain undeterred and overcome adversity is commendable. 
you are truly a worthy competitor. When I next wish to test a hypothesis, I would be honored if you would agree to kick its butt. Anytime. <laughs> he's such he's such a Nomura ass first. character. He's such a Nomura ass character. He really, really is. That is most well, okay, I, I got a bunch of materia and AP up, which is pretty good. Although, thinking on it, like, I don't know that I want to grind enough to really put it to use. We'll see. Because there are, there are some areas in 7 Remake where you can really grind Materia easily. Especially with the AP up, like you can you can blast some Materia from 0 to 100 in, in 20 minutes, you know. But I haven't really found any kind of grind spot. Like, because I've, I've been running around a little bit, like, grinding out for the weapon abilities, which is basically, like, running back and forth between this factory area here and then out there, like, fighting the monsters in those two areas, which is sort of all I really had available. And that's not, it does not grind materia very fast. <laughs> oh well. Let's progress the story. Question, can I go? Oh, oh, this was also available, was it? Are there like encounters easily available in here though? Whoa, I'm, I'm getting some lag spikes. What the heck? More to the point, can I easily get back out again? Is sort of the question. Because, like, that thing goes down, it does not go up. Hmm. Okay, let's, let's not do that, then. Not right now, anyway. Should have done that off-camera. Mr. Train Conductor Man, I want to go to Shinra Headquarters. I don't think we'll be back here anytime soon, so make sure you're ready for anything, okay? Yes, I, I do believe... Hey, wait, hang on. Good call. Can never be too prepared. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm just gonna... I've beaten all the Fort Condor nonsense. I have loaded up with Fort Condor coins to get a bunch of Mega Potions. I have the materia I think I'm gonna want and need. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, for fuck's sake. All set, boss. I think we're good here. What is that glitch? Jesus. Just flash banging me randomly every five minutes. Don't worry, we are an elite stealth unit, and no one will ever notice anything we do. Sornan is more subtle than Yuffie, but like with the fucking lacquered plate armor on his shoulders, like samurai armor, like styled after it. 
Hey! I'll be fine. As long as I'm standing up. They kept the detail of you Yuffie gets uh, motion sickness. That's sweet. Laugh. Belfie always got motion sick. Chocobos, boats. <laughs> I'm sure trains would have done it too. Who is Melfi? My sister. She trained under your father at the same time as me. And she had such promise. Had? The war was ending. But a Shinra mech went haywire near a crowd. She had to do something. Good catch, Yuffie. Like, you want to nip that shit in the bud. <laughs> oh, hey, it's the asshole. Are we on the schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000. <sighs> Director Tuesty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the Director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Breathe. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. <clears throat> For those who don't remember, Reeve is the guy who pilots Kate Sith eventually. Look at all these people. Let's get this over with. Excuse me, I have some questions. You work for Shinra, isn't that right? Then would you care to comment on the rumors that Sector 7 will be the terrorist next target? They're going to hit the reactor, aren't they? You! Stop right there! Get the hell what out of here. What additional security plans are Shinra to play the military? The elevators are right there. Let's catch one. You're up, Heidi. <laughs> Again, like, how does... It's that thing about character design, right? It's like... You do kind of wonder in a, in a building where that's just filled with people in suits? Hold the door. Oh, hello, Scarlet. In a building that's filled with people wearing suits, these two Look guys for. don't stand out? The basement. Advanced weaponry. Going down. Door Perfect. Just perfect. Hmm? Huh? Uh. Hmm. <laughs> but oh, how the mighty are fallen. Wu Tai colluding with Avalanche and resorting to terrorism. <laughs> I always thought the Wu Taians an honorable people. They used to be, certainly. But now, now they're nothing but blood-sucking flies buzzing around Shinra's face. <laughs> Would you not agree? In light of recent events, I mean. I would. hundred <laughs> percent. What a lovely smile. played that quite nicely, like, the tension of does she know, which, like, she 100% does. I think not. 
Rangers should take the scenic route and savor the opportunity to meet our latest autonomous weapons. <laughs> Like, it's just Scarlet knows, and she knows that they have no choice but to play along with her things so she can get them to humiliate themselves in front of her. I'll never get a better chance. Good sadism. That was Scarlet, director of advanced weaponry. It was one of her machines that killed Melfi. <sighs> Calm down, Sonon. Calm down. Remember, we're here for a reason. Right, boss. I'm sorry. Don't be. I was ready to strangle her myself. Why didn't you? <laughs> and that's before she sent us off in the wrong direction. <clears throat> Where did she send us? Guess we're gonna find out. One way to find out. Don't worry, we'll get to materia research eventually. Just a little longer, my precious. The plot is like the the writing of the plot in in the in this DLC is very anime. Right, in the sense of I mean, yeah, kind of in a pejorative sense. I was about to say not in a pejorative sense, but kind of a little bit in the sense that it's rather surface level so far. Like, I, mean, I talked about this with Yuffie, right? Like, like, that her character feels simplified and, like, feels like she's operating a lot more on the surface of, like, cute anime girl ninja rather than engaging with, like, the most, and I don't, I want to say, like, there's a limit to how much we can dick ride the original, because, like, the original, L Yuffie's character is not that well developed in the original game, it should be said. It's there, she's also a fairly obvious archetype, right? Like, she is the, like, the, like, the sort of scrappy tomboy, but she is a character specifically, all of this sort of cheerful, yeah, I'm a great ninja, I'm gonna fight for, like, all of that, that is an act that she's putting on. Right? Like that that is the archetype that she is in that game, is that she's putting on the sort of happy, cheerful, clumsy ninja thing in order to hide like a well of of anger and resentment and some very like some very childish um disappointment and and resentment of her father, um, as well as Shinra. Um that one, when her real personality comes out, it is, she is an angry teenager, right? Like that's the thing about Yuffie is like the real personality underneath is that of an angry teenager, not a not a cheerful Genki girl, right? And so far I haven't really seen signs that this portrayal of her engages with that, right? And it sort of engages more on on like the surface level of, the, of her presentation and the Sonon being like, big brother man whose little sister died and now he's mad because his little sister died that feels very like feels very sort of and like feels very saturday morning shonen cartoon kind of thing right like that that's his motivation um and oh this girl looks kind of like his little sister so he's projecting his little sister feelings onto her is like eh. and that's where i like that yuffie sort of caught that and go like no don't do that i'm not her leave like stop doing that immediately please I like that because that usually that that kind of thing is played um, much more sympathetically <laughs> um, rather than as a form of objectification, which is what it is. Like he's turning Yuffie into the object of like his his feelings, like this thing that he can project his own, you know, his own nonsense onto. Um, which is not a nice way to treat another person. <laughs> Shinra Combat Simulator. Huh. Can't go in, though. And I will say, I can't blame, like, a fairly short DLC um, 
from not wanting to dive into like deep characterization. It's like, like this is just like a an intermediary intermission episode kind of thing. It is just a little guidance. It's not so like on that level it's fine. It's just, you Look know. At this place. Weapons here, weapons there, weapons everywhere. They're ready for some serious action. It sounds like you are too. Uh, unlike my old man, I'm not some lazy drunk. I fight for what I believe in. Something he can never understand. Ah, there's a bit. Behind bars, you mean? Not well, if the government's got anything to say about it. Good on him. Tales where he belongs. That's my master you're talking about. Mind laying off him a little? You know what? Let's drop it. Not exactly my favorite topic. It's only gonna make me mad. More importantly... My god, you people are deadly boring. Luckily, I know exactly how to line things up. We've a little experiment. Just don't go dying on me. That will give you a very interesting results now, will it? Unit calibration complete. Initiating the yes. collection sequence. Hey, like that, nothing on me. Huh? Oh, hello. Let's get our lightning on. And also, remember to steal. Oh, come on. Let me steal. Give me the thing! You have a thing, I want it! Okay. Not much of a fight so far. One assumes they'll it'll escalate. <laughs> Hate those luminous blasts. Orb of gravity, whatever that is. Is that orb of gravity then? Because it's not materia. Power risk guards, no. Armor, no. Weapon, no.
Condor coins. Key items. Nope. Huh. Okay, it's a combat item. Guess that makes sense. Jump to catch that ladder yourself. Come on. Okay. Get to climb. <laughs> Madam Director, the intruders are about to reach the research facility. And we'll let them. Meanwhile, find out what it is they want. You do have eyes, don't you? Then you can see that while they are simpletons, they've made it further than any normal Wu Taiyan ever could. Clearly, they are ninjas. <laughs> Teenage ninjas. <laughs> and they've come such a long way. We simply must roll out the red carpet. My trusty steed should provide a fitting welcome, I think. Keep me apprised, would you? Cut system power to the research facility. <laughs> Clearly, they are ninjas. Teenage ninjas. Oh my god. Above all, do not let them out of your sight. What a fucking power ass. A Power Rangers ass fucking line. <laughs> That's some shit that Ivan Ooze should be saying with disdain. That's a Rita Repulsa ass thing to say. Clearly, they are ninjas. Teenage ninjas. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Uh, uh, again, that was not derogatory. That was just genuine delight. <laughs> uh. Mug. Grenade. Okay, so they have nothing I need. This their idea of mood lighting? Cause it's bad. Might be the power. That thing's off too. Okay, I think I can upgrade some weapons a little bit, maybe. really want the materia slots, but they cost 12. Nah. Okay, well. I thought I heard a noise. Hm. Oh hey, those are those. Talk about hitting the jackpot. This must be where they make their materia. Maybe. Let's keep moving, boss. Totally. After I grab a few souvenirs. Hold Joe's little pods. That sounds like a great idea that can't possibly go wrong. Teenage ninjas. <laughs> uh, it would be it. It would be. I. I would cataclysmically fall apart if she sends mutant turtles against us. <laughs> Teenage ninjas. <laughs>
Ninja cannonball materia. Okay. All right, that's, I am, you have baited me. What does that mean? <laughs> Allows you to perform ninja cannonball with RBY while synergized. Oh, have him throw me. Okay, yes, sure. Ab that's, I guess that's a materia you need in order to do that. I am on board with this. And then skill master being what exactly? Slightly fills the ATB gauge when multiple ATB commands are performed. Okay, so that's when like you use a if you use a bunch of different ones, it'll boost your ATB and you can use more abilities. That's pretty good, actually, if you remember to, you know, use different abilities and not just spam attack all the time. And another steadfast block. You know what? Actually, Sonon should probably have a steadfast block somewhere on his thing. Perhaps rather than Chakra, actually. Swap it out for Yuffies. Okay, are there any more? Got the two, got the three. That's all our souvenirs, fair enough. Onwards to adventure! Yeah, we'll find another... Another way up. I mean, I can't help but think it has to do with those grates there on the side. It's more a thing of... Oh, there. <laughs> Your chest, a ribbon, as in a, a as in a ribbon, ribbon. As in a ribbon, ribbon. Okay, yeah, the shit. I'll take that. Holy fuck, that's one of the most powerful accessories in Final Fantasy. Thank you for the status immunities. I mean, I guess because it's such a short thing, they're gonna load you up with, like, all the cool shit in a hurry. Triple is the amount of AP earned for all materials set to this armor. Yeah, but it only has one slot, so. Hello. Now you guys, I want to steal from. Ow. Oh, okay. He was still alive.
Oh, okay, Turbo Ether. Mostly because I remember in the original game that soldiers would often have... Sweet. Soldiers would have quite, like, is where you could steal, like, a good weapon for Cloud that would, like, last you for a good portion of the early game. Is that an airbuster? No, that's the that's the uh, road. The um, what's it called? The thing. It's the thing you fight at the end of the motorcycle chase. Road ball, I think maybe. Hello. Immune to magic, huh? Again, I do want to steal from you. I think it missed. Stolen armored core? <laughs> I know it's not an armored core. I know it's an armor core, but a boy can dream. Didn't get an item from him. Gotcha. Oh, hello. Hi, how are you doing? Ba -da -na -na -na. Ba -da -na -na -na. A gin staff. Insight. Ooh! A provoke ability. That is quite good! Let me just upgrade it before we do anything, though. Give it enough materia slots to... There. And auto remedy. Is also good. And then let's get the little mini haste. Cause you need it, buddy. You're slow. No, I wanted to equip it. Yeah. Oh, that looks quite nice. There's just a little tiny bit of Super Mario Galaxy in the soundtrack in here. That little whip, 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 That thing. That has galaxy vibes. Anyway. Level two power grid online. Presa di botton. And the 
initiating Mako energy saturation. Deploying security grade. Not long now, my precious. Sleep in my arms soon. Entry lock released. And what do we have here? A secret material vault, perhaps? A trap, more likely? Or no, it, it, that that's what it is. Uh, it's a little locked. Okay, we can open it. Gimme, 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 gimme. This is gonna do something that goes wrong. Employee identity confirmed. Access granted. Occupancy limited to one subject. Proceed to gate to begin training exercise. Training? Really? Just give us what we came for already. Might still be worth a shot. Could be something in it for us. Just be careful, okay? Uh, okay. Orb of ATB assist. Orb of ATB boost. Orb of ATB stagger. Sure, why not? What must post do? Ha ha. Like with a Sector 5 Undersea Relative, the objective is to destroy as many boxes as possible within the time limit. Each box will add to your score, and when the timer reaches zero, the training exercise is over. Reach the target score to win. Okay. Well, that's two levels of it done. Access granted. Occupancy limited to one subject. Proceed to gate to begin. Don't know that I want ATB stagger that much. I don't, as I recall, it just like you get an ATB bonus for staggering an opponent, which is like nice, but not. Yeah, slightly fills teammates' ATB gauges when commands are used back to back. Doubles ATB when activated. It cannot be used continuously. LR. Yeah. See, because that I kind of do want. I might want to set lightning as my resistance instead. Uh, maybe I'll be okay with that assess. I don't use it that often. Okay, let's see. Anything else that opened up down here? Elevator, I assume, still doesn't want to. Or it does. It allows us to go back down. Okay.
Whoopty 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 woo. Okay, but those free elections sound pretty good, though. And, like, equitable distribution of resources? Not a terrible idea. I've heard worse. Speaking of uh, time magic, that would give me haste, right? Yes. Give me haste. I want haste. Gimme, gimme, gimme. A healing carcinet. Increases the effect of the healing spells, items, and abilities. Probably gonna wanna put that on him, actually. Since he has the healing materia. between the arms then
comfy chair. What do we got in there? More important than the others. This has to be it. Oh, sweet baby, come to mama. <laughs> Can't see squat. Light, light. I need more light. Oh, it's a blue material of all things. Man, another stupid dud. Twenty five percent free damage. It's not nothing. Whoa, Jesus, okay. Holy heck, Arim. What the? Yeah, I kind of. I'm a little bit in, in the shit here. Because I can't. Uh, yeah, uh... Yeah, a little bit troublesome, this. I don't really need the elixirs for anything else, so... Oh, for fuck's sake, Sonon! Jesus. Someone on, would you just stay up on your feet long enough to heal?
Sonon with the self-sacrifice play. Very interesting. It sort of indicates that he has the Phoenix Materia on him, but... So, have you found out what they want yet? We think so. We can't say for certain, as their behavior is erratic. But they appear to be searching for Materia. Excuse me? You mean to say that these savages have gone to all this trouble for Materia? So far as we can tell, yes. How very dull. Be that as it may, I suppose I should talk to them. Ma'am. Enjoying yourselves, I trust? <laughs> all by a simple hologram? How precious. But I know just what you need to listen up a little. After such a long journey, you must be so tense. Luckily, I have toys for that. All far more entertaining than this. What do you want? Oh, dear. Is that any way to talk to your host? Really, though? As guests, it's more about what you want. And I think you'll find it just up ahead. Don't keep me waiting. So, boss, what do you think? That we're walking into a trap, I guess. But it's nothing we can't handle, right? I don't know about that, Yuffie. Couldn't have said it better myself. Anyway, Sonon, do you want to not be dead? and dying for a second, that would be good. Lovely. Okay. Uh... Not finish exploring out here, though. No, stay on this floor. Just want to be sure it's activated. In case I need it for something. What, really? Oh, I guess I did finish exploring out here. It's just that, that over there, those things, the things that are there, Rather seem like maybe those are, like, maybe those are, uh, explorable things that you could climb on and do stuff. Just kind of seems to me. Okay, but I, I, I guess not. Fair enough. Fine. Can I have a bit? Oh, there's a bench. This is where we push every piece of ordnance to its limits and beyond. Such tests are an invaluable part of the development process. Go on, see where the magic happens. Commencing ordnance testing. Select ordnance type to deploy for this trial. My ordinance type is sit down on a chair for a bit. Uh, you know what? Hang on. Oh, wait. Before I do that, let's just see. There isn't anything that I really need there, is there? And that being the case, uh, probably want to get some Echo Mists just in case. But other than that... There. Mega Potions. Uh, that thing, whatever that is. Okay, just puts a couple of sweepers down there, I guess. Subjects approaching test site. Test will begin 
Stagger you a little. Okay, that's one. Razor blade or saw blades or whatever that thing is. Let's go with the whatever that thing is. Bug. I want to know what you have. I got a bracer. Oh, I've lost my lightning element. That's a problem.
Yes. Okay. Analysis concluded. Continuing trial. Yes, cool. Can I can I please pause so I can check out what that heavy bracer is? Oh, it's just worse. <laughs> well, it's physical defense. And you don't take that much of a penalty in magic, but it's like, it's not worth it. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Subjects approaching test site. What do we have now? Test will begin momentarily. Oh, a bunch of blast rays. Beginning analysis. Or slug rays, rather. Did you cast region on Yuffie? Actually, that would be good. I guess I chose the difficult Analysis ones first. Continuing trial. Select ordinance type to deploy for this trial. Ooh, oh shit, that's either the the guard scorpion or the uh the uh the uh I wanna fight the scorpion. Oh, this is cool. It's a it's just a bunch of combat, right? But like the guard scorpion? Fuck yeah, I'll fight that. Oh, it's not. Aw! I thought... Oh, it's the... It's the mothball head. Aw, oh, I thought it was the scorpion tail! Damn it! Aw. I was all excited! Oh, well. I guess this will do. I thought it was gonna be, like, the final boss of the thing. don't seem to be doing any stagger to it whatsoever. Okay then. Not too shabby, Sonon. Analysis concludes. Beginning final test. Selection confirmed. Initiating ordinance. I thought it was the guard scorpion. No, it's still salty. <laughs> I'm a little mad. Subjects approaching test site. Test will begin momentarily. Okay, what do we have here, then? Being the final one, one assumes it'll be tougher. Death Wheel. I mean, it doesn't sound great. Uh-oh. It's got a lock on me, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything with it. Or maybe it is.
Not really. Okay, it does t not take extra damage from lightning. How about ice? Since it has that fire thing, yes. I'm gonna get an ice banishment on this bastard. Give me more materia slots. Is there anything else I could use? That's good. Not really. Okay. There isn't anything on the boomerang I want, is there? the Steel Reaper. Mm. Not really, no. No, I'm good. Sonon! Can we do anything with you on the Jin staff? Basically just attack damage boosts, more or less. Okay. Have I mastered the insight yet? No, I have not. Yuffie, get some more! Materia set in your weapon. Do I want to maybe get the chakra back on her? Some easy healing? Nah, I have item. Items work better for this. But I do want to get my HP up back. Thank you. Actually, item efficiency in battle is probably good. Getting some extra heal out of those items.
Up we go. And that is probably as good a place as any to call an episode. We've ascended up through the Shinra Tower. Scarlet is about to do whatever it is that she's about to do. And uh, if you want to see what the thing she's about to do is and what happens and how it shakes out, you're going to have to come back for the next one. Yeah! So like, comment, subscribe if that interests you. Become a member of the channel to get early access to these episodes before anyone else. Uh, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to be kind to one another. Have solidarity with those who are worse off than yourselves. And may the tides of history wash gently over us all. <laughs>